yes now i am going to show you the example for addition and multiplication of probability which is quite often asked for the examination part now what is the question given a person is known to hit a target in 3 out of 4 times whereas another person is known to hit the target in 2 out of 3 times find the probability of target being hit at all when both the persons try so first thing we need to first always segregate and write down what is given there first let a be the event of event of hitting the target by first person that is what they have given 3 out of 4 times so 3 by 4 next one what they have given let b be the event of hitting the target by second person what they have given 2 out of 3 times so 2 by 3 let a b be the event of event of hitting the target by both persons that is here we need to use the multiplication law of probability what is the multiplication law of probability p of ab is equals to p of a into p of b so what is p of ab we already know that p of a is 3 by 4 into 2 by 3 which will give you 1 by 2 now we have got p of ab what is the question asked the probability find the probability of target being hit at all when both person try in that case the required probability of when both persons means the required probability is p of now we need to use the law of addition of probabilities that is p of a union b is equals to p of a plus p of b minus p of a intersection b p of a intersection b is nothing but p of ab therefore it is 3 by 4 plus 2 by 3 minus 1 by 2 when you take lcm and when you simplify it you will get the answer as 0.016 so this is how you will find out now listen whenever they give you the question and ask you to find the required probability just like that you should not write p of a is equals to this p of b is equals to 2 by 3 p of ab is equals to this they will definitely they will not give you marks you need to explain what is the event a and what is the event b and what is the event ab and each and everything even the formulas everything you need to show it and this is the law of addition of probabilities so this is how you need to find out the solution